welcome you back on episode 60 sounds like i did a videos every week but it's not true if you remember the last video that i did i talk about the solar panel charger it doesn't work so i check every single connection i check it like so many times so you know that i like to fix things if they are broken but if they are really broken then i like a new stuff so this is the old bastard that i removed and i really don't know what happened why it's not charging but seems like something has been uh, blow up or or something happened during this time so I get the new stuff. Look at this crap. This is better crap. I, I hope it's better. I hope at least it should work. And it has warranty. So I will try to not mess up with the wires. And try to place plus where it's minus. And minus where it's plus. It should be okay. The warranty guys love me. He wants to blow something up. Should we give him the warranty or not? I actually never blow up in this boat anything, I think. Oh yeah, I did. I did blow up. Yeah. I blow up this fellow here. And then I got the new one. And that's uh, a shunt that measures yeah, how much I charge, how much I spend, electricity on my boat and so on and so on and so on and this one is cool because it also have a bluetooth and you know how awesome and happy i am about the bluetooth system on the boat it's like not enough with the phone right all the systems running phone and everything and it's just it's so much radiation and then what I do, I buy a solar charger controller, also Bluetooth, awesome! So it gives the signal to the boat and everywhere else. And I'm, uh, yeah, what I'm doing, I don't know. Anyway, it's very convenient actually. And like I don't have enough projects, I decided to do the place for the boat thruster joystick controller. So far it was located together with all the rest of the controllers, but it's not the most convenient place. So yeah, here I go again. I found it very easy to make foundation for glass fiber by using a piece of acrylic plastic which was easy to make around. So that way avoiding the sharp angles and i think it's gonna look very good at the end i found a hole in one of my pipes for the salt water cooling system that leads the water to exhaust broken was just one but since i have two of the pipes i thought i would change that other two and gosh good that i did that just look how the pipe looks it has so many cracks this won't be lost for long. While I finished some unfinished things in Vbirth, I found another surprise, something very special. I found water trapped inside between the boat hull and the wall. Let's recap a little bit. So, I have been finding water under my floorboards and then I cleaned the water and the very next day there is water again. I turn around the whole boat trying to find the leak and I just couldn't find it. Turns out this was the problem. It was so full that it find a way inside the reinforcement that runs over the whole boat and eventually at the lowest point it drip out. So now I know where the leak is coming from. Now I have to find how the freaking water get here in the first place. So I figure out the only place is the chain locker so I remove the whole chain from the chain lock and this is what it looked like 
the plywood is completely gone. I don't understand why the glass fiber is not done all the way around the plywood. It's just painted. Of course, it will eventually be damaged and will leak. Well, what can I say? This is another project to do. And here I go. The mask is on, the motor tool is in my hands and I'm ready to go. So quickly I cut the old chain locker floor out. I will use the old piece as a template and the new piece will be all around glass fiber with no wood to rot. Because this looks, well, I don't need to comment this. This is how it looks down there. I will give it a week or so to let it dry out. Back to the new bow thruster control place. A week ago I put up a quite a, a lot of fairing compound. It looks rough, but wait, it will look better once I will sand it down. I do old style hand sanding. I do that not so often. It starts to look a bit sexier. It has shape that is very around. What do you think is a good place for a bow thruster controller? It is actually from your comments where I heard first time these suggestions. I just was a bit worried about the compass, but it seemed not to do any impact on the compass when I test. We will see that when I end up somewhere else. I need some fairing compound, more, but we are getting somewhere. I will screw from under some piece of plywood so I can access later on if I need. So the good news is I got my new Solidon or whatever you call it. The engine switch that switch off and the engine when it's running. But the bad thing, the screw holes are not the same. Ah! In the meanwhile, behind the camera, I create the new floor for the chain locker using five layers of 450 thick glass fiber sheets. And now I'm placing it where it belongs. The hardest part was getting off the old top cob. It's not the most comfortable place to work, but I've been in the worst places before. <laughs> so far, this is how it looks. I am placing the glass fiber and connecting the glass fiber floor that I did with the bolt hole. I think from now on it will be a bulletproof and also leak free. So now after a couple hours I can place a top coat that will keep the water from getting through the glass fiber. It's also the time for taking down the tent house that I build around the protect boat in the winter. One of my colleagues came over to help me with that and some more. That was very kind of him and thanks. He also helped me with sending the piece of wood that goes around the boat. It was on my list for a long time. As in the meantime, I work with the joystick boat thruster control place. I managed to apply more fairing compound and also managed to send it off. Now it's really ready for paint work. Now it's the day after and the top coat is completely dry. It's time to place the chain back where it belongs. But wait, I just remembered that I need to mark the chain so I know how much chain I have out. It was not done before for some reason. Today also is the day that my boat is supposed to go in the water. But it did not happen because I'm not ready. Well, for it happened for my neighbors. I'm happy for them. See you soon in the water. Whoa! Sorry everyone, this episode goes to the end. But I really did a lot and most of the things that was bothering me is done. Yeah, I mean, the only thing that is left is the bottom paint. So I need one layer of primer and two layers of paint. And then I'm pretty much ready to go in the water. If I have a little bit more time, 
I have, of course, projects here, endless projects that I want to do. But I mean, the most important things are done, which is great. This is too small. These holes are too small. Sounds weird. Yeah, uh, anyway, this is not big enough. Fuck, that sounds, again, really weird. Um, yeah, it doesn't fit. Even that sounds really weird. <laughs> okay, um, I ordered the wrong one. And I didn't know that. And yeah, problem is that quite expensive. Delivery is quite expensive. And this is a bit bigger. Yeah, so I will try to get this one off and just place it here. If I will manage that, that would be very, very good because I connect the wires and this one, of course, works. Alrighty, guys. Now it's 30 of the April, so tomorrow is the 1st of May. And most of the May I will be working and not on the boat, on my work. So, yeah, I will try to squeeze some time between all my work to do some boat work anyway all right guys take care and see you in the next episode where i'm think i'm gonna place the boat in the water i think so yeah so see you then i have a nice everything to you take care bye and no i didn't shit my pants and broke my leg. Don't know what to write on the headline. It was just for fun. And if I did shit my pants, that was very, very long time ago. And that doesn't count.